Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm sat here again today with Jack Pusey, who's the showbiz editor at The Daily Star, and we are going to be talking again about some celebrities. So last week we spoke about the more reality star type celeb, and this week we're really doing um, much more homegrown kind of celebs. So um, news readers, uh, people who are maybe a little bit more on the wholesome end of the spectrum. Mm -hmm. um, if you did want to see last week's video, then you can always head over to the Daily Star website and I will put a link in the comment section below. And we're also gonna be doing this as a two-parter. So if you want to see the rest of um, what we filmed today, then head over to their website. So, who's first up? So we're going to jump in with uh, Love Island fave Caroline Flack. Uh, she's dabbled in other presenting gigs. She actually had a stint on The X Factor as well, but she's best known now uh, for Love Island. And uh, yeah, she's undergone quite the transformation over the years. She looks stellar now for mm. 39, I think everyone will agree. Mm, yeah. So uh, this picture that we've got the before from, um, when was this taken? God, um, maybe six or seven years ago. Okay. Early 30s, I think. Mm -hmm. um, and with, yeah, Jack Osborne. Yeah. What happened to him? <laughs> the most random friendship <laughs> in celebrity history. Uh, I have no idea what he's doing now, actually. Gosh. So one of the things that really stands out to me, apart from the fact that, obviously, she looks completely fabulous, now um, is the difference in projection so you guys will have seen earlier in the channel um, when I'm doing my uh, videos on Friday that sometimes I add filler in this area here to bring this whole unit forwards and if we look at her before picture you can see that she really is very very flat um, underneath the eyes and also around the nose um, which is giving almost this sort of concave appearance and it makes the chin look more pronounced mm -hmm. so I think what she's done is put an awful lot of filler underneath the nose area and under the eye and also in the cheekbone area on both sides just to bring this whole unit forwards which I think you'd agree looks much more attractive I think and I do think obviously she's had some lip filler but I think it looks really good mm, I do I think the whole effect, so it's, it's yeah, exactly. She hasn't gone too far. It's very subtly done, very sensitive, nice work. Um, I think in her before picture, she's got quite a crease as well across her chin just here. So I think that she's probably had some filler put across the chin as well. Um, and I suspect because she's had so much volume put here that she's also done some filler underneath her eye as well because otherwise it can just look too concave and it looks a little bit weird afterwards right. what do you think yeah i think whatever wizardry has happened she looks wonderful now and she seems to be aging in reverse so um <laughs> how many people can say that she really is isn't yeah. she yeah. yeah do you think she's had anything done to maybe change her smile because she seems to be showing sort of less teeth now when she smiles well, I think that's more to do with the filler which has been put next to the nose because it can act like a physical barrier um, for the muscle. So when you attempt to smile, you, you actually can't raise up as much because the muscle doesn't contract as much. There's something in the way. I mean, you, you can do that with Botox as well, but I suspect that it's been done with filler. Mm -hmm. Although I don't know for sure. Just to clarify, guys, we're not saying anything bad or negative about any of these celebs that we're talking about now. We're just trying to let you guys at home know how it is that they achieve these amazing good looks because very often it's not born of nature. It's something uh, which has been slightly augmented, either non-surgically or surgically. I always used to feel a bit sad when I was at home looking through magazines when I was younger and I hadn't had anything done before, questioning why don't I look like this person in the magazine? And often it is because they've had something done. Mm -hmm. And if you don't talk about it, then beauty expectations just mm. go completely through the roof and they've got nothing to do with reality so it's actually quite an important conversation to have so next up who've we got so we have kate garraway next uh, best known for appearing on good morning britain often alongside ben shepherd um and much like all of the names we've talked about in this video she looks unbelievable for her age mm -hmm. for the age of 51. again it's kind of hard to say for her because she's kept these nasolabial lines they're exactly the same well slightly deeper than they were when she was younger however the one thing that does make me think mm, maybe is because she's got quite a lot of um lift in the cheek area and also along the jawline. So I don't see much evidence of jowling there, um, which at 51, 
you would expect to see something. Mm -hmm. And if we compare her side profile, well, her sort of downwards tilting profile from before, you can see that there is a very, very slight outline of heaviness. Whereas in the after picture, it's, obviously the head position is not the same, so it's really hard for me to say, but I'm just guessing that if she was more vertical, that that little bit of outpooching wouldn't be there. So everything's looking really strong, really structured. Wouldn't surprise me, therefore, if she had chosen to have a little bit of filler in the cheekbone, in the jawline, to just pin everything up. Maybe even some treatments more for skin tightening, like ultrasound, uh, possibly radio frequency. But I think, as we discussed in the other video, which is going on your site, when you're in the public eye, I think it's very tempting to have a bit of something done mm. because everybody else is doing it. I think sometimes the public can be very critical. So what do they do if they're not doing these these kind of larger procedures? Well, it might be things like skin peels, uh, certainly something like laser, um, because obviously as we get older, we do show more um, open thread veins on our face, also more brown spots, age spots, mm -hmm. which you can remove using laser. So it could be that she's using something like this instead. Um, then there are a lot more um, newer uh, technologies out there for skin improvement, so such as the use of Profilo, which is an injectable moisturiser. It's still hyaluronic acid, but it spreads out underneath the surface of the skin and just gives you a bit of a glow, a little bit of skin hydration, a bit of a boost. So I do think for, for women, uh, I guess, and men, um, who are maybe in the more serious mm -hmm. professions on TV, like uh, being a presenter of a more serious show if she came in to work one morning looking like she'd had a ton of lip filler yeah. and a ton of cheek Trap filler out. I don't think it would go well with with her image absolutely um, yeah we obviously spoke about like the reality stars before and as we've said that their world you know that instagram world the the kind of bar is completely different and if you're if you're modeling for somewhere like you know boohoo or pretty little thing it might work to have you know really cut cheekbones and a really bee stung pout but actually if you're talking about you know brexit on good morning britain <laughs> you probably need to be taken a bit more seriously yeah so um it's kind of about you know doing what works i guess with your public profile and with your career like yeah, you said absolutely so what are you planning to have done oh uh, well I, I you know i obviously uh plan to look like like brad pitt in about a month <laughs> Um, no, uh, yeah, nothing, certainly nothing like we've seen some of the yeah. extreme cases of the reality stars. I think they've set the bar in the stratosphere, really. It's interesting, actually, obviously we've been looking at women today, but you don't, there's never as much of a discussion, is there, around yeah. men's plastic surgery, That's ever. Right. I think we've done stories before about, you know, like Simon Cowell maybe having some Botox in the past, but yeah, there's never the same kind of... Mm. Why do you think that is? Well, I, I think, first of all, nobody would suspect right. that a man had done something, mean, unless it was Bond or yeah. obvious. There's not the same index of suspicion. No. But I, I imagine that there are. Oh, I'm a sure. A bunch of people who have. I did do a video about men who have probably had things done, mm. like Elon Musk was in there, and Johnny Depp and Brad Pitt we yeah. spoke about. Yeah, I remember the video, yeah. Um, and I think, actually, Elon Musk's transformation was, unbelievable. it was unbelievable yeah. wasn't it unbelievable yeah. you can tell it's real because it looks so fake honestly where where is all the information about that what why are people not jumping up and down i know like you say i think people just don't have it in their head to ask the question yeah we almost don't have the same vocabulary to talk about men when it comes to things like plastic surgery yeah unless i, I think men often get it if they like, lose their hair and they're wearing a wig or something everyone talk about it that's right but other than that and actually, that's quite an interesting dichotomy, isn't it? It is. Because women can wear hair extensions and nobody really says anything mm. about it. Men wear a wig, mm. worst thing in the world. Yeah. Women have filler done and it can be a bit of a negative thing. Men do it, nobody even asks the question. No, strange. It's like we're trying to pinpoint certain things on certain people. Yeah. But I think certainly with men, things like hair transplants are huge in showbiz, absolutely huge. So many celebrities have them done successfully. Yeah. Yeah. And, and like you say, people just don't really talk about it for more than about five minutes. Like, oh, his hair looks good. I wonder if he's had it done. And then it's kind of... Who's yeah. had it? Who's, who hasn't? I think I think Dex is looking brilliant. Who's that? Ant and Dex. Oh, know? Ant and Dex. Yeah, okay. I think he he okay. looks really good. Even down to like soap stars like Cory fans, Jack Shepard had a hair transplant, probably over your head. Mm -hmm. He looks great. Um, 
loads of people obviously Wayne Rooney famously yeah 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 he did. in all he different did. In all different spheres so um yeah it's not a cheap thing to do is no. it but and I think you have to do more than one I don't do hair transplants but I've right. certainly got patients who have had them done and they seem to look decent I understand that there's this rise of this micro hair transplant as well where people are having just the very front area filled in okay you know, just where you start to see Receding. a bit of recession yeah yeah oh. so rather than waiting until everything has completely disappeared and you're you know you've got that kind of like dad look yeah and it's just a strip <laughs> yeah around the side like that um but yeah I don't know let's fight for equality okay guys so that's it for this week thank you so much for joining me again i'll put a link in the comment section below so that you can go over to the daily star website and see the rest of the video and i will see you guys again next week see you later